This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, people should know if you're at a show with Lil Wayne, you don't throw things on stage. Well, someone was throwing the flags, flags on stage. He stopped the show, said, this is disrespectful. I'm going to end the show. He's known to be end shows quickly. Um, and he said, it's not even the right flag. Go, go slap that person in the crowd right now. Then we got Tony Yayo speaking on Young Young Buck. Now I expected him to take a different. He's very peaceful now. Fifty Cent. He said Fifty Cent. If you cross him, he will end you. Now Tony Yayo has been very. Vo I'm sorry. Uh, Young Buck has been very vocal about. Like, he, he, at one point he said he was writing for 50 Cent. Then at one point he said he's not paying me properly. He won't let him out of his contract. Yeah, he's not going to let you out of your contract if you're beefing with him and dissing him. The best way to get out of your contract would have been to go to him privately and say, hey, how can I work this? How can I buy myself out of my contract and sign an NDA or something? So it's just peaceful. But no, Young Buck had to go on a big tie, tie rate and everything. Then the whole, you know, trans thing came out, the rumors for that. And, you know, Tony Yo said, like, you know, 50 will end you if you go against him. But, you know, the whole as far as the trans thing, that's his decision. I mean, that's a that's a personal decision right there. But I expected Yayo. Yayo used to go off for 50. I think he just likes to stay out of the way right now because, you know, once you start doing all that, then, you who you know, there's a point where you just want to, like, Except for 50 Cent, you just want to like not be involved in a bunch of beef. 50 Cent welcomes all that beef because it's just free promotional opportunities. I mean, Tony Ayo has been the most loyal one in G-Unit. Um, Young Buck recently talked about the whole thing with 50 Cent and everything. And, you know, he had good things to say. But, you know, the damage is done. You know, like everyone in G-Unit kind of just grew apart. It didn't have to be like that. And then that brings us, me, us to my next topic where, you know, Dame Dash did another interview and he was asked about Jay-Z and he said, you know, it was it was sad because I don't let too many people around me. But, you know, when you don't let a lot of people around, you're usually a real guy. And um, usually the only people that can get around you and hurt you are the people that are close to you. And Jay-Z was close to me and he chose money over our friendship. We were doing things against the algorithm, the way things are normally done. And he chose to screw me over and then go right along with how things are being done. You know, like Rockefeller is for us and now it's just for him. You know, he stole away from everybody. We were good friends and I trusted him. And that's why he was able to do what he did. And um, I don't blame him. I mean, Jay-Z did a lot of crazy things to get where he's at, you know, and uh you know, not keeping it real with your friends is trash. You know, people that you came in the game with, people that, you know, he was, uh, he, he, he related it to this. He said, you know, Brooklyn guys, you know, I used to, you know, do business with them in my street days and they used to talk about robbing their connect. He said, well, I guess I was the connect and he was a, being a Brooklyn guy, you know. Disloyal. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.